Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center, and today we're taking a look at some Knife Center exclusive Mad Dog Flippers from Mikkel Willemsen. Let's check them out. So these knives come to us from the Willemsen Copenhagen label. They're made in China, but they're quality controlled in Denmark, with each piece being inspected and approved by Mikkel himself. The blade is a recurved drop point, which is instantly recognizable for Willemsen style. That recurve to the edge is going to add just a little bit of sharpened length, and it's great on the draw cut when you're actually using the knife, because it can hook in slightly to what you're cutting, be it cardboard, rope, what have you. What we get with the blade is D2 steel, and it has an awesomely heavy stonewashed finish. A really deep pattern, and there's no mistaking it as soon as you see it, and they're really going to help to hide the scratches when you go to use the knife. Even more striking is the deep fuller, which runs the full length of the blade and actually exits near the point. Now traditionally, adding a fuller is a technique for removing some weight from the blade while also increasing its lateral strength, but here it's mostly done for style. Although it does wind up having a functional aspect too. You can actually use it to open the blade with your thumb. It's a great alternative to thumb studs or a blade cutout. We also get a broad finger groove at the back right behind the small sharpening choil, and that's a great place to choke up and it really balances the feel of the knife overall, forming a natural and integral part of the usable handle. In addition to the fuller opening method, this is of course a flipper knife. Caged bearings and a properly set detent make for sure-footed and reliable action. And once deployed, it looks perfectly poised in your hand like it's ready to strike. The handles themselves feature carbon fiber fronts with some great figuring, and a frame that's made from titanium with either a natural finish or several different anodized colors to pick from. Each has that same heavy stone wash to match the blade, and I can't stress enough how deep and how cool this finish is. It comes across even better in person than it does in video. When it comes to the overall handle design, that finger choil on the blade is very important, because otherwise the handle would feel too short. Technically it's three and a half fingers if you're choked back, but it doesn't really feel secure until you're choked up. In that position, it feels great. It indexes very naturally, and it means the edge is right in front of your finger in use. There's no wasted space, and it allows you to cut with precision. The frame lock itself works well, and you can see that the release bar is flush with the front scale, but it still disengages easily enough despite that, thanks to a few scallops along the lock bar itself. Looking at that lock bar, you can see that we've got a single screw here on the outside, and that mounts an internal stop tab and lock bar interface, ensuring that you're going to get long life out of this blade, whether you're just flipping it or putting it to hard work. As far as the way these handles are screwed together, they're held together with just the pivot and a single barrel spacer here at the back, with hardware that actually echoes the pivot as well. But even despite having only two points of contact, there's plenty of rigidity and no looseness in the handle. As far as other hardware, this knife does feature a single position pocket clip, which is tip up right side only, and again it sports that wicked heavy stone washed finish. It looks great, especially with the extra color in between for contrast, and I think it really shows it off nicely with the blue color. Overall we think the Mad Dog makes one heck of an EDC with tons of attitude. It's certainly going to make an impression when you bring it out, and it should be able to work hard in day to day or even tactical roles. Make sure to let us know what you think of this knife down in the comments, and to get your hands on one, remember, this is a Knife Center exclusive, so the only way to get it is to click the link in the description below. See you next time. Knife Center exclusive. <laughs> Can't use that. Can't use that. Can't use that. <laughs> There's no wasted space, and it lot. Can't use that. Hopefully you can scrub that out.